Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the Situationship. So in this Situationship reading, we're looking at your connection to someone and you're not quite sure what is actually going on. So let's go ahead and see what vibes come through the Tarot and Oracle cards. And if you like it, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see me every single day. All right, first card up. Ace of Wands, that's perfect because Sagittarius, you are in the Wands realm in Tarot. You are fire. Fire is um, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. So this is all about your new passions, desires, a drive to go in a new direction in your life. Something has spurred your flame. Next up, we have Two of Swords, a huge decision. Is this a love decider? Have you got a decision to make between somebody and somebody else? Because this is showing up in your thoughts, Sagittarius, that you're thinking of one or another and you're not quite sure which way to go. This is also Libra and this is also all about being fair and just and unbiased in your decision next up we have the three of wands three of wands is basically you again saying i can see how something is going to work out and i can see which direction i need to take this so this is the way I'm going to go. This is also a bit of a procrastination card where you're just going to wait and see how things pan out because you already can see what's going to happen. Alrighty. Now, let's go ahead and look at the Clover deck and see what else comes through as clarifiers. Don't forget to hit like, Sagittarius, if you like it, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. All right, Four of Swords. Four of Swords is the energy of feeling fatigued, feeling tired, feeling drained, needing a break. Some of you may have recently just gone through a time out either with somebody or in your own life thinking like, I really need to get away from it all for a little while, Four of Swords because I'm about to start a new adventure in my life. Okay, so next up we have the Five of Cups. This is an emotional card. It's cups. It's all about your feelings, your heart center. And five is a challenging card. Five is a challenging number, meaning hurdles and obstacles. And it's also talking about stuck energy. Five of Cups is saying your emotions are kind of on pause. And that may be why you've got Four of Swords here saying your mind as well needs a pause because you're kind of feeling tired and drained and fatigued in regards to an Ace of Wands. Either the Ace of Wands is has come at the same time as you feeling drained and tired or it's come before or after. I can't see the time frames yet. However, I feel that the Ace of Wands is exciting and new. Four of Swords is making you overthink it, okay? Two of Swords making the decision. However, Five of Cups is a stuck energy in your heart center, meaning that you may need to work on your chakra system. That's for some of you. I felt that. So I don't know who needed to hear that. If you're into chakra systems, maybe work on your heart chakra and see if that gets the flow going with your energy system for some of you. Now, the Five of Cups is all about taking some time out to reminisce and think about sadness and things that make you sad. And I guess I kind of endorse that because it's okay to feel and it's okay to cry. It's okay to go through these times because we all need that healing. So this could be a gateway to healing. I would love a start to come through to say that you're going through that healing, especially right with the Three of Wands. That would be beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what the next card is. And if the star would have come out, I would have freaked out, but it's a Five of Wands. Okay, so Five of Wands are naysayers around you. 
and you're kind of standing your ground and they're kind of overbearing you with things that opinions their own opinions five of swords is um uh like uh i guess a bit of a standstill and three of wands is like i can see something coming some of you may be being um naysayed because of somebody that you feel very passionate and excited about and you have people around you that are saying maybe they're not for you and you're not quite sure which way to go let me know how that resonates i personally would not listen <laughs> if somebody said my fiance is not the one for me i would be um like, you know what, this is my decision, this is my choice, this is what I need to do. So if somebody is naysaying you and they have no reason, it could just be that they're jealous. Just saying, Sagittarius. All right, next up, new love. Yay. So that comes with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. That's kind of like the Ace of Wands is the new love. Four of Swords is a fatigue energy. You, Some of you may be going through, um, you know, a healing period after a breakup or something with somebody else. Young female, it could be that the feminine in this coupledom situationship is significantly younger however it doesn't have to be it could be young at heart i mean i'm young at heart so you know maybe i would be the young female even though i'm not really that young at all but it's just about somebody who has that young energy and wants to have fun and wants to go out and explore and just live life to the fullest and there's nothing wrong with that brunette female <laughs> Oh, no, that's not meant to happen. Or maybe it's a brunette female that is younger. Maybe they're one. Or maybe that is the stress Sagittarius. Maybe that is the stress. Maybe there is um, two. And that's why it's a situation ship because you may be stuck between this and that. Or somebody else may be stuck between you and somebody i don't know let's see um i'm going to go ahead and get the love oracle by doreen virtue and something something valiente can't remember the full name comment below and let me know Raphael valiente is that right or valiant Raphael? i'm not sure i could be completely wrong Anyway, we have soulmate. The new love is a soulmate. That's intense, man. Soulmate. It's like your souls are connected and you cannot deny the desire to be together. And it's like inseparable energy. Next up, we have wedding so, so one of you may be married or you're literally making a decision should you get married to this person or should you go back to another person let's have a look finances and career a workplace romance maybe that's why the naysayers come through however some of you may be dealing with a financial situation with an ex and that's why the brunette came through let me know what this means however if it's not a love decider and it's just like i don't know whether i should go for this person or not it could very well be that this is going to turn out to be amazing because you've got soulmate wedding and you've got finances and career my only red flag is the two females that showed up and that doesn't have to be for all of you. It could just be for some of you or that these two females, it's just a younger female with, who is brunette or changes her hair color a lot. Um, I don't know. Let me know, comment below. What does this mean to you, Sagittarius? Um, I would love to know. And because I love you guys, I feel like I need to get another one. So I'm going to go ahead and use my energy deck 
magician and the mirror it mean it's kind of like a soulmate card as well bringing two into one five three um five three challenges but you can see what's going to happen anyway one six it's really about letting go of your past sagittarius and moving towards your future water needs to pass under the bridge for you to be able to you know go the next level so it's really all about letting the past go so that you can move on to the next level adjacent possibilities so it's opening yourself up to what can be two four two are going to be working and building towards their future and that is very much what i see here all right Sagittarius let me know what this means how it resonates and as always I send you so much love peace and light bye for now